praying for your plans. Friends, today in our first reading, we are uh, hearing St. Paul talking to the Ephesians, telling him about Jesus who is the cornerstone. He is saying that Christ, Jesus himself, being the cornerstone in whom the whole structure, structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord. The cornerstone here, Jesus himself, having led a life of prayer, and we've even heard in the gospel, that any plan that he had, Jesus prayed first. Mention any plan. Before doing anything, he prayed. And today, friends, Jesus being the cornerstone and one who prays, we hear in the gospel that before choosing the twelve, he spent the whole night praying. Did he need to pray? Yes, friends. When uh, he prayed, he was in communion and he, even before. Jesus is always in communion with the Father and the Holy Spirit. And that communion may gave him the strength to continue. And after prayer, he went ahead and uh, chose in that multitude twelve that great multitude he chose 12 who are going to walk with him to journey with him as he did the ministry here on earth this tells us something friends before you make any decision before you do anything serious Take time to pray, please. Rest with the Lord. Sometimes we have vigils. Please go. Pray with others. Take everything to God. And our God will listen to you. When you pray... God listens. When you pray, you find that there is joy coming from within you. And the decisions you will make after prayer will be the decisions that will help you for sure. So today, all of us here, let us embrace the life of prayer. A good Christian will love the life of prayer. A bad Christian will not love the life of prayer. That is why sometimes you see that someone comes for mass and then the person leaves before the final blessing. Maybe because the person is uh, busy but that tells you something about the person. Prayer. You give yourself to God and not to rest. And sometimes you find that someone has come to pray, but the person falls asleep. There is this uh, uh, story that someone made. Someone came to pray 
in church the way we are here today. And as they were praying, the person fell asleep. And in that church, they were building. So the pastor asked, who can give us one million? The person who can give us one million to stand. Then because they were almost finishing uh, the, uh, the, uh, the prayers, he asked again, can you stand please? And the person stood. He woke up and had that stand please. And he stood. And everybody clapped. That we now have one million. The person looked at the neighbor and the neighbor and asked, why are you clapping? That you have stood here to give us one million. <laughs> the person is still sad up today because he was even having full laser in his phone. <laughs> so friends, it is not good to come and sleep. Come and give yourself to the Lord in prayer and in that God will be answering your prayers. Let us give ourselves to God and as we celebrate the two saints, Saint Simon and Saint Jude, these are two saints, not much is known about them, but they gave their lives and even got killed because of choosing to follow Christ. Even if sometimes life can be difficult, do not give up. Do not give up. Even if sometimes your prayers are not answered, don't give up. Because we are enjoying this uh, prayer we are enjoying coming together because of the foundations that were made on these apostles. May Saint Jude and uh, Saint uh, Simon intercede for us and we know that Saint uh, Jude Thaddeus is always a saint who intercedes for those people who have lost hope. So if you have lost hope in anything, lost items, seek the intercession of St. Jude Thaddeus. May God bless us all and may we be people of prayer. Do not give up in prayer. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.